There's been one thing on our to-do list since the beginning of this channel. We've put it off week after week, and every time we open our YouTube homepage, it stares back at us like a black eye. Our channel art sucks. It's not the right resolution, and I don't even recognize those babies who took that photo back in something like 2014. So today, we're finally going to do a brand overhaul, i.e. we're going to take a set of photos to use for our profiles across all of our platforms. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. The ultimate goal here is choosing a concept that will immediately tell users everything they need to know about us. We also want to take a cohesive set of striking images that will make viewers stop in their tracks and remember us. So for starters, we're kind of weird, not just as people, but the style of photos we shoot. We want that to be evident in the photos that we create. The idea we've come up with is to wear matching, striking outfits in two different locations, our studio and in the wild using these photos as inspiration. The mood will be quiet yet bold, and the theme will be photographers in the wild. It sounds dumb, but it looks cool in my head, so. When we think of striking outfits, one thing immediately comes to mind. For props, we've each decided to carry our favorite camera. This one was easy to decide and we pretty much already told you, but we wanted to pick the two locations where we shoot the most, in our studio and in the wild. So we'll primarily shoot in front of our mural in our studio, and we'll shoot in an open field that we think will juxtapose perfectly with our suits and provide lots of space for social distancing. For lighting, the choice was easy. We're going all natural. We prefer and often shoot with only available light, so we're not going to stop now. We might add a bounce here or there, but nothing extreme. Remember, we want these images to reflect who we are. We aren't flashy, well put together people. Our photos shouldn't trick you into thinking we are. The last thing to consider is the actual composition, frame size, and focal length we'll use for these images. These details are important because we want to make sure we get at least one solid image for every profile. For most of our profiles, an image that works in a one by one format will be perfect. But for our YouTube channel art and Twitter header image, we'll need something drastically wider. We've decided to use two to three focal lengths that we regularly shoot. We'll use a 24 or 35 millimeter for our wide shots and an 85 for our tighter shots. This will reinforce the feeling of our typical style. Now we're headed out into the wild and we've recruited our pal Will to help us take some of these photos. Okay, ready? Now. Squarespace! All right, my first time making a website. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Let's do this. I'm already done making my website. Are you surprised? I am. I'm really impressed with Squarespace's blogging tools. Yay. Whoa, they've got email campaigns? I'm totally gonna send one. <sighs> that was totally worth it. Look at all this traffic overview. It's all right here. A year ago, I didn't think I could have my own beautiful website, but Squarespace made it so easy. Thank you. 
This year, give yourself the gift of your own beautiful website with Squarespace. Save 10% when you use the code Mango Street at checkout. Head to the link in our description to get started. It's nice to finally have a set of cohesive yet diverse images for our different social media platforms. And I'm just happy to get it off of our to-do list.